It's been uh, it's been a little while since I've seen you. We used to see, I used to see you all the time back in the New York days. Yes, I, I remember you lived back in the day. You lived in a studio apartment. Is that what yeah? That, I, you're still your situation. Yeah, why not? I'm only 53. <laughs> <laughs> why not have just the one room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard because I'm kind of a cluttered kind of guy, and I actually hired a professional home organizer. Sure. She was tough too. She wanted me to throw stuff out. I was like, nice try. That's not organizing. <laughs> That's throwing stuff out. <laughs> Huge difference between organizing and throwing stuff out. Yeah. I, would, I would never pay someone $400 to help me throw stuff out. I, I know what a garbage can looks like. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually saw a home organizer on TV make mm -hmm. this suggestion. She said, take all the clothes in your closet, line them up in the same direction. When you take something out to use it, put it back in the opposite direction. And at the end of a year, only keep what's in the opposite direction. Anyone who can follow through on that system is already the world's most organized person. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a guy who's like uh, knee deep in hamster skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> like, allow me to show you what I did with my <laughs> But there's that, uh, is that book on home organizing. It's like the life-changing art of tidying up, something like yes, that. Yes, very popular yeah. Uh, book. Yeah, written by a Japanese woman. And her main philosophy is you take everything you own, you look at it one by one and go, does this bring me joy? And if the answer is no, you get rid of it. So based on that, I'll be burning my apartment to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> With me in it. You're in it. Yeah. And you're going to take yourself, too. Yeah. You don't give yourself joy, so you've got to go, too.